In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the attendance feature in Blackboard. So when you're in the course, go, expand the course tools and go into atten attendance. All right. When you go into attendance for the first time, it might be in the settings area at that very moment. Okay. So if you do see this, you need to get through this first before it will let you go in and mark attendance. So just confirm that this information is right. And um, if you don't make any changes, you can just cancel. If you did make changes, you can hit save. So I am going to change something. I'm going to change this percentage instead of points and save it. And it's going to ask me if I want to save it. Yes. OK. Now, in the attendance screen, you have two different views. You have the overall view and then meeting view. OK. Now, if you want to see multiple days, you would go to overall. If you only want to work with the current date, then you would use meeting. OK. Now, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add some days to this. Maybe I've missed previous days that I wanted to mark attendance and I want to add some dates in here. So if you go to the today column and just move your mouse over to the right, you'll see a plus sign. Click the plus sign. And I'm going to set up the last two weeks worth of dates. So I'm going to go into the today link here and I'm going to edit the meeting. And I'm going to go in and grab dates from a previous week. So I'm going to go in and hit plus again. All right, I'm going to add one more. All right, so right now I've got four days in here, and you would continue to add your days for your semester. Okay, now to go in and mark attendance, you can either Click on today and you can mark all present or all absent, whatever you want to do. So if I do all present, then I could go in and just mark individuals that were not there. And I'm going to do that for a couple of them. And I want to go in and change the one person and mark them late. And I'm going to mark this one absent. OK, so you can see as you're adding their days that they've been attending, it's automatically calculating their percentages for their overall. OK, now at this point, if you are getting near the end of the semester, there is an option to go in and export this. And it just grabbed it. As soon as I hit it, it exported it to an Excel spreadsheet and it's marking it out so I can print that out if I need to. OK. So it automatically exports to an Excel spreadsheet. Okay. If you've gone in and you've put in the wrong day, you can always go in and delete the meeting if you need to. You can also clear out all the marks for that particular day if you need to, or I can exempt it. Okay. So maybe um, for some reason I wasn't there, I could exempt that grade from being averaged in with the rest of them. Okay. So um, now, this also with the attendance feature creates a column in the Grade Center. So if I go into the Grade Center and go to Full Grade Center, I will, if I scroll all the way over to the right, I will see the attendance column in there. So it's automatically already set up to keep the average of the attendance in this column. Okay, so. If you want to, you can actually take the atten attendance category and put that into your weighted total to calculate how many points they get for attending a certain number of classes. So, um, so you can adjust that in your weighted total column. Okay. So again, underneath course tools, attendance to view the attendance. If you want to see all the dates, it's overall. If you want to see um, and mark a specific date, you can do it in here with um, the boxes. There's also, once you have more than one date in here, you can use the arrows to go through and click to advance and move back through your dates that you've already marked. Okay. And you want to make sure that you go to overall to do your export.